So the first card I'm going to make, I'm going to start with the most steps in the card today. We're going to make this a fun card. If you just notice, cool. the poppy has all these different colors in it. Now, these are not things that we're doing on the retreat. Everything I show here is not. The retreat is separate. So, But these are just some other fun ideas. So this will be our first one. And this is how it's done. Now, I messed up on my flirty flamingo, and this went off the edge. So it's missing one. But do you see, I did five different colors. No, I did one, two, three. I did four different colors. So now I can make four different cards if I hadn't messed this up. So, you know, I can make three different cards. So I did this one using the Blackberry Bliss, <laughs> you know, those names as the background and then the other colors inside. But you see how you can uh, make this easy. You wouldn't sit down and just want to make one card like this. You're going to get four lovely cards with different colors. And you can experiment with any kind of different cards. Oh, Margaret, yes, we would love to have you show up at one of my card classes. I always make extra. We always have room. And um, anyone that's traveled more than 150 miles, you really get a deal on attending. Because <laughs> we just love to have people come from a long way. So, so that's pretty fun. So to do this, then I thought this time I'm going to use the Rich Razzleberry. So I just took my base card as that and then just added, I was going to add either one of these, whatever I had in my, you know, box that was already cut. So here we are. So here, I'll just move it this way. And I'm going to just build how I want this. And since I don't have as many pieces of this, I'll use this one first. Let's see. I'm going to just put these in. There will be one. I did opposites in the other out, and that worked out pretty good. I'll do opposites here, but it wouldn't matter. And, you know, you could just do um, all kinds of writing. These could also would be pretty with designer series paper or something. Okay, now the trickiest part for me is figuring out <laughs> which pieces here I haven't used yet. And then this has this big one. So this is a little putsy, but you can see if you're going to sit down and make, I can make these four batches of four quite easily. But this doesn't come under simple stamping. We're going to do simple stamping after this. Yes, because I'm, asked doing, him, I'm doing a card. I asked him if he wanted to do this one or a simple stamping. Yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, I knew better than to ask. Okay. <laughs> she might be afraid that I'd say yes. No, you know, my fear would be we'd still be here at seven tonight. Oh, really? <laughs> I know he could do it. <laughs> Kevin says, what a great idea. I felt those pieces were good for something. Yeah, isn't yeah, so that the truth? Because, yeah, the pieces that come out, then see, you can do something else with. And now this. This was first done. Oh, I did a video years and years ago that was very popular on YouTube. And the first video came from Jennifer McGuire. And uh, so this is press and seal. These kitchen things that I put on the list, and I don't know anything about the kitchen. So Tim is always surprised when I have a kitchen item on the list. And I say, oh, yeah, it's for card making. It's not, don't get too excited here. It's not anything else. And then I'm going to pick this up. Ah, look wow. how cool that is. Good job. They are all together. So this would be great. You can see this would work if I were doing it like a floral arrangement. It would work for a lot of different things. But this kind of a stamp is just made for this. I'm just going to go around and put these on on here. I'll make sure I get a little of the edges in there. And then I'm going to take this and just put it on my... It's crooked. Yeah. <laughs> Straight is overrated, Tim. Straight yeah. flowers, you know. It, we go for the random. No. <laughs> As if Tim could have... <laughs> And, you know, it's not going to work as perfectly as my first one because I am doing it on camera. Makes her nervous. I, well, it's hard, and I'm working so much closer. But look how pretty that is. And it's done. And then I can go on and do the next one. So then I just added the leaves and a bit of other, other things and thought, what a fun idea. So you, too, might want to add <laughs> Could you explain press what, and seal. On your... Could you explain what the bit of other things includes? Oh, the leaves, these are all from the dyes. Um, 
which is just great. And then these are words from the word set. You know, there are two sets that go together in the whole Painted Poppies bundle. I don't even know the name of the bundle. But there are two sets of stamps and then two sets of dies. And, you know, so intermixed, that's what we'll be using um, on the retreat. And today, that's what these well, come from. Get that little thought, thing in the fun. middle. And, yeah, that's from there, too. So it's just the... It's just that little thing in the middle. <laughs> could you make that a lighter color and give it, give it some, could that be a different color? That Yes, it could. It could be yellow or it could be a, a lot of different color. I just had one of these cut out so mm. <laughs> to finish this in a hurry. But yes, Tim, when I have you make the rest of these, oh, yes, yes, I think I you should decide what color yes. goes in the middle. <laughs> so That's anyway, that that is just a really fun idea thanks to Jennifer McGuire. Years ago. And now let's do some simple stamping. I'm just going to put this up and find where. Uh, find. It's always the find the stuff. Oh, okay. So here I just have my white I have my piece of paper. Let's see. I thought I had some words out here. Um, I think my words have disappeared. That's okay. We'll just imagine words. We I'll can look do that. For words. But it's oh, they're right here. <laughs> okay, par for the course. I hope somebody else has that too. But you know what? You could get me is a wet paper towel. Yes, I forgot about I cleaning the inks. So you know, you need it. So these are also from the stamp set, and I'm just going to put three flowers across the bottom. So this is just stamp inks and paper. This is um, what we call simple stamping. This is all there is to it. Okay, so there I got this. This went on better, if you notice. Uh, and I'm just going to say that the others, I just sort of went over like that. It is better, and I probably need reinker. I do better, you know, if I go around like that, I make sure I'm getting the middle. So I did that in the middle. So that one turned out better, but we'll live with this. And then let's do a little, some words right while we're at it. The words are from there too. So this is going to be, you know, sometimes if you want to make a bunch of thank you cards, you really want them quick and easy. And then to color this, sip card. Yes, we always used to call it take a sip. Back in the early days, we always said you need three things uh, to stamp. You need your stamps, ink, and paper. So it's just good if you buy something from each one. Because we would find we would do a party and people would buy a bunch of stamps, but they'd forget to buy inks and then they'd use construction paper or something that at home and they just weren't that pleased with it. So um, it's just a good thing that has just kind of stayed from the early days and it's very visual. Take a sip. So I'm just going to pick three colors now and this is a stamp right in here. This is Pineapple Punch and I just love this. So this is very abstract. It's just a way of adding some color without. So here's here's what Tim brought me. I have to unfold it so I have a little more space. But isn't he thoughtful? <laughs> He's so great. <laughs> oh, we know that. I just have to give you grief when I can, you know. <laughs> he is so great is grief. Oh, you're being oh, sarcastic. Okay. <laughs> and next I'm going for a grapefruit grove. And you know, these flowers, and I could have these all over. I could just put color on one. So just visualize what you could do. You know, I really wouldn't have to turn that around upside down to see this one, would I, no, Tim? No, no. <laughs> it's, got... it's not an exact science. <laughs> no, I think, let's see if I can manage this with the last one. <laughs> okay, here's the last one. Oh, we love your guys' comments. It's so fun. And you know, afterwards I go back and read them all. I no longer click on so many, if you've noticed... You get put, I get put in Facebook jail if I click too many likes in a row too quickly. They think you're a robot, uh, and I'm just fed up with it. So they obviously don't want us to do that, but know that I read everything and appreciate everything. So look how fun this is. And you could make a bunch of these right now. Where's my cleaning sponge? That's right, Terry. Uh, we have it. You guys, I have it. And some of my customers were over and they were showing me how to use it. I keep forgetting to bring it out. And it's even on my table. Okay, it's going to be a goal for one of my next videos to start using that. But what a bright, simple, unmounted card. Done. And now Tim is going to do another. Yes. He's quick one. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see if it's quick. Let's oh, see. so do they line up? Not really. And if you notice, um, I don't think they're really meant to line up. 
because they're kind of different shapes. Someone will have to tell me because I obviously didn't. I just assumed they were impressionistic and I like them like that. So that that's what I'm doing. Now, if you tell me I'm wrong, Tim and Titus. they could be lined up perfectly. Yeah, he's got to fix mine. I like, I like, the, <laughs> I like doing that. Yeah. Okay, I am, I'm just going to take charge. Okay, this is what all my stuff was on and it's empty. So I'm not sure if I can find it or not. Okay. What do they call this again? An aqua painter. Aqua painter. And something to paint. And I should mention, these are in the little embellishment packs that are part of the Painted Posy, and it's part of the Retreat Bundle also. Do you think it's a good idea to have white on white? Or should I color it? So, um, okay. You'll need yes. a block. Yes, I, I do. <laughs> we'll see if he can remember how to do this. <laughs> okay, here we go. The chamois. Oh, I know. Isn't that so funny that I <laughs> that I don't use that? <laughs> yes, a gem in the middle of those flowers would be great, Chris. That's right. There's all kinds of things. Or adds, you could add some sequins, all kinds of stuff to it, too. So it's mm -hmm. a... My role model in doing all this stuff is my grandson, Hank. I know, okay. and we were saying they both really like teaching techniques. So I said, yes. And a few of you mentioned that Hank is a whole lot like Tim. And we thought, yeah, but Tim will take that, yeah. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing. That's for leaves. Okay. This is for leaves, and it's probably a little too dark. It doesn't matter, because you can blot it, you know, so you can do whatever you want. Oh, that's not right. And you guys all know, Tim will not practice. And I didn't show him how to do this. I just said, oh, I think you can figure that. Now, if you think it's dark, just kind of squeeze more water into it. See, just right on there. You can squeeze it. <laughs> yes, Hank left us some ink. So. <laughs> and it made it darker. Oh, I like that. Okay. That looks like... And if you want it less intense, can we do this just to show people what it yes, does? And you can that. add more. So if you put a dry thing over it and then pop it up. Mmm, isn't that nice? Make it, and it just will dry it faster so you can finish okay. your card today. We're going to... Right down the middle. And he is using the uh, peacock color, which I just love for, I love things that are just kind of different for greens. You know, greens are just so fun because you can do any kind of color at all. I think we'll blot it just so that it'll be dry. Okay, now how do you clean this before the next color? Um, I don't know. Yep, yeah, just squeeze it till it runs clear. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, there was a lot of ink on that. Look, yes, look how long it's taking to go clear. Okay. <laughs> it may never come clear, but I'm I'm fine okay, with that. You're fine with that. It'll be might be okay, a mixed so you, color. You suck it up or you just put it on. <laughs> Hank is like Tim. He's he's good with making one card. Okay, so what is this now? A flower? Yep. Very impressionistic. And he was gonna maybe give it to his teacher. So. I don't have a teacher. No. Oh you're talking about Hank. Yeah. How cool is that? And then you can blot that. And then you can finish your card. But you get, um, in the embellishment, you get a whole bunch of these things that you can watercolor, color with blends. It's on watercolor paper, so it's okay. just designed. You, you can press them into the ink pad. And Tim is using one of the small note cards. One. With envelopes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This says, another sensational year of you. And he knows that because he asked me to read it earlier. Well, I oh, can't okay. remember that. <laughs> okay. I actually read that. Oh, good for you. Because I'm reading at a second grade level. <laughs> actually, I'm He's actually feeling a little bit of progress with his reading, so yeah. he's feeling encouraged. A little. Okay. He made me come down the basement and do what... One of his exercises, exercises were, and I couldn't even do it. And I said, that is hard. <laughs> so I thought you are really working him hard. Doesn't matter where it goes? Nope, it's your card. I got to cover up a smudge down there, so I'm going to do this. And this is another die from the Painted Poppies. Isn't that fun? Um, yes, the small note cards are the smallest size that you can mail. So that's nice. So they make really easy cards to do. 
This is not working. What is going on here? Okay. Second. No, we don't have Hank this weekend. He's only with us when he has overnight. So, what is but I told him I already have a project plan for next time. Techniques are just the way to go, you know. <laughs> because they're also just great. A lot of us craft with kids. A lot of you had comments about that. Whether you have kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, you know, it's just always fun to have ideas that are easy to put oh, together that's and not good. do it's with them. Got green on it now. This is really. I really am okay. Well, it isn't. A whole a lot of time to dry, so you know you, you, you'll you, you'll get the idea. But it's all um. That's weird. Is that upside down. It's how you know. It's just a leaf, so Tim. It can it can be anywhere. This this is you know a little impressionistic. So, all right. Whoa. That's great. So that? that is it. Those are three <laughs> quick ideas. Well, one one. One slow idea and two quick ideas <laughs> for using the painted poppies. And with all of these announcements we have today, I will um, go look at comments and I'll also put up links for all these different things for you to check out. So I'd love to have you check out the starter kit and the retreat. And last call today if you want paper, any of the product shares on the first round because we're ordering them all tomorrow. So thanks everyone. Can I just say that I should probably should care how this all goes on, you know, you know, this record is going to be kept forever. And if I ever decide that I should have been a good stamper, people will look back and say, mm. Tim, you were terrible. Would, would you ever think that might be a goal of yours? Probably not. No. <laughs> Probably it's not. all good. We need the comic relief in our lives. So okay. it's, it's all good. And, <laughs> but he's going to be good at making cookies. So, so yes, he's got that in. The agenda, I am. So it's a way to get that. So, Okay. Thanks, everyone. You can go shut up the camera now. Can I? See? <laughs> he needs direction because, you know, he, we'll have to have him and Hank do a video together. And we'll see where that goes. I'm just not sure. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> Bo, it'll go on forever. Thank you, everyone. Tim Van Gogh. <laughs> yeah, right. Mom, yes. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. right here for the start of Catalog Launch Day. Bye. Bye-bye.